Jerusalem has to be the most iconic, exciting, historic, and certainly emotive city in the world. Our first visit is the Holocaust History Museum, Yad Vashem, literally meaning a monument and a name. Understandably, filming inside is not permitted, as it contains images of individuals in extermination camps. Though it's not a usual tourist destination, it's nevertheless a place all visitors should see. An amazing experience that occupies over 4,200 square meters, mainly underground. In the Hall of Names, the actual names of the victims are memorialized. One of Yad Vashem's tasks is to honor non-Jews who risked their lives, liberty or positions to save Jews during the Holocaust, such as Oskar Schindler, about whom the film Schindler's List was produced. Their names commemorated in the Garden of the Righteous Among the Nations on the Mount of Remembrance. From there we drove to the old city of Jerusalem to be greeted by those ancient walls. And even to this day, this is perhaps the most iconic city in the world, revered by three of the major religions and visited by countless pilgrims over the centuries. We entered Zion Gate and were immediately confronted by the Roman Cardo, perhaps the most remarkable feature of the old city. The ancient Roman street runs from north to south, a common feature of Roman cities. The Wailing Wall, the western wall of Herod's Temple, the holiest, most revered location of Jews. coming here to pray, to contemplate, and to worship. Then a visit to the ancient Temple Mount, where the great temples of Solomon and Herod were situated. Solomon's temple was unique amongst ancient temples in that it did not have idols. Within Solomon's temple, the Holy of Holies, instead of an idol, was the Ark of the Covenant. For the first time, the law of God, not an idol, was enshrined. The first temple was destroyed by Nebuchadnezzar in December 589 BC. The second temple by the Romans in 70 AD. The first Muslims invaded in 636 AD, four years after the death of Muhammad. The iconic Dome of the Rock was built in AD 692. The Al-Aqsa Mosque, the Father's Mosque, built in 705 AD, making the journey of Muhammad to Jerusalem in 621 AD difficult to understand as the mosque was not built until after his death. Islamic art, prominent and beautiful. One of the joys of the Holy Land is the amazing weather. 
I've seldom been here when it wasn't sunny and warm, though I've seen pictures of Jerusalem in the snow and always wish I could have been here to film that. <laughs> 